Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling, guys. So, okay. Today, I'm going to just quickly go over my um, Spark Aligners. Um, I'm on tray 10. So, I didn't change them yesterday. And that's because I went to the dentist so they could... I guess they call it shaving in the middle. Um... You can't see it. It doesn't hurt. I'm gonna see if I can show you guys. Um, but it doesn't hurt. It's very, very small. Um, and that is so they can close together. Now, the gentleman who was looking at them before the orthodontist came over, he said 18 months. It's not 18 months that I have to do. I did like I had such slight changes. But when she came over, she actually said, "Oh, you know, you may want to get a second set." which I thought about anyway, um, just to get like that perfect, perfect smile that I used to have when I was young. So um, they did that, it was really quick. I mean like, you felt like air on your teeth. Um, so it probably was like five seconds. <laughs> it doesn't hurt at all. And from what I understand, they do that because sometimes you can have they call it a black triangle in the center of your teeth at the top where your gums and your teeth meet. And it's because inside, I guess the teeth are like, I don't know, they're, I don't know if they're like losing bone density the older we get. I have no idea. All I know is that they call it a black triangle, but it's not black. It's just like a tiny, tiny, tiny little space. So they're trying to bring all that back together. He mentioned correcting my bite, which seems kind of odd for me because they never said that before. Um, so I didn't never had like an issue with my bite or anything like that. He did say, oh, your, your teeth are going to be shifting or whatever. So that makes sense. So I don't know. We'll see. But I am on tray 10. Tonight I'm going to move them to tray 11. I only have 25, technically 20 trays. And five of the trays are retainers. So basically once I get to the 20th tray and I feel like, hey, I want to do more, I'm gonna wear my retainers up until they get ordered my, my next set of trays. Um, so you don't pay, I think I've said this before, you don't pay, you don't pay for extra trays. You go until you're happy. Um, and then like they say, an orthodontist will tell a person with, de with um, braces, they go until the orthodontist says. So for, for sparkle liners and the line. You don't you go until you're 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 completely satisfied so let me see if i can pull them out for you guys and before i jump into just some stuff that i purchased um i'm just gonna take out the top because that's where the change is i don't know if you guys could actually see it i don't know can you see that it's in the center very small <laughs> very very small um and it's so easy to pop back in. Um, but yes, just a quick update. I'm gonna move to tray 10 tonight. Um, I'm gonna be traveling. So taking all this stuff with me, guys, it's like the worst, like these packets and stuff. So I'm gonna, ha well actually, I'm only gonna take one tray. I may not even need to. Just the other stuff that I take like to brush my teeth and like all the extra stuff that I'm, extra stuff that I've been doing. Um, because these are kind of like, if you don't brush guys, make sure you are brushing your teeth before you put these back in, um, and gargling and, and rinsing because if you think your teeth are clean, it may be a little piece of something, something left in the back and then you'll see it then you're going to get freaked out. So make sure you are definitely really brushing and rinsing your mouth really, really well. So that's the first part of this video. Um... I purchased some things from Zara. Mm, I'm not. I'm not even gonna say things. I purchased a shirt and a pair of pants. Now you guys know those wide leg pants that they have. I am six feet. I purchased another pair um, a few months ago. Sometimes I just don't show you guys some of this stuff. I'm gonna start showing you guys again. But um, those I thought that they were the same pants, but they're not. So the first pair, they was hitting me like at a weird length on me <laughs> very weird uh but i realized that they are made different so what i'm gonna start doing is 
and if you are a tall woman, <laughs> start reading the serial numbers on these items. So these are some of the things that I do when I'm shopping because they do not cater to tall women like they should. I have no idea why. So um, some things at Zara that I noticed are better quality when they're made in Turkey. Um, the stuff that's made in Morocco, they're nice, but they're made really small. Okay, so start really paying attention, especially if you struggle. You're like, hey, I just bought this pair of pants. So the first pants, they, they said wide leg, but they definitely don't fit like the new ones. The new ones, when I get like some photos in them, I'll, I'm going to show you guys. But the new ones, if I was shorter than I am, they would be dragging on the floor. I put them on, stood up as if I was wearing like a, maybe like a four inch heel, and they still were like really long. So something like those, I would probably get all colors and that is because it's very difficult for us to find jeans that we really like opposed to because they always have skinny jeans who wants to wear that all the time um it's like they don't want tall people to be stylish okay i'm so serious like or if they have the jeans you have to be like super small right if they're designer jeans you have to be super small or size all the way up and i think i got what did i get child i got a, i got a 44 which is like a 12 i'm so not a 12 um, and I think the other ones, oh, I had some, some shorts, some pants in the gap. They were actually too big. I got a 14, so she, I got them taken in and stuff, but I think I can get a 12 next time and just have her take them in slight. Cause she literally did a revamp on the whole entire pair of pants. And you guys know, I took the blazer to get altered at the tailor. So once I get that back, I'll show you guys that. Um, and then like I said, the Zara pants, and then I purchased, um, a bodysuit. You know what? I'm going to tag, what do you call it? <laughs> Put some pictures up of the pants. Um, I'm, I'm going to, I'll pop, maybe I'll try them on and show them, show them on me because they, they are, they are really, really long on me. Um, and then the shirt that I purchased was a bodysuit and it's kind of the same material as, I'm going to uh, link a photo too, the same material as their basics. So we know that the basics are nice, but they're not, they don't last you for like a few years. Um, after a while, they start getting a little linty, but they have shoulder pads in them. They're actually really cute now. If I'm not mistaken, it's made in Morocco too. I am going to go and grab the shirt <laughs> and show you guys the shirt um, because it's really cute. So I'll be right back. So, um, Here's the shirt, guys. I'm just gonna show you guys real quick. Let's make sure my phone is, my thing is charged. So here's the top. I don't know if you guys can see this. Oh, you can't because it's, it's white. Well, it's, what's that, what do they call it? Now, I shouldn't have never got a medium, <laughs> but this is, yes. So this is made in Morocco. The stuff made in Morocco, guys, it runs extremely small. So if you are getting something, you're like, oh my God, it's so small that I gain weight. No, you did not. The crap runs super small. And then the jeans that I got are these. Oh my gosh, guys, these are so long. Like when I tell you I was so excited to get these and I'm like, they're sold out. Like I need all colors. They have multiple pairs, but these are the ripped ones. And I'm gonna read the series, the number that's on it because if you are five nine and up, guys, shoot, I want to say six feet. You're good to go. And the number on these is six zero four five slash zero two seven. So when you're looking on Zara's site, plug in this number, and these pants will come up. If you are struggling with finding like pants that are super super long guys like these are it if I can find more pants like this I would be so happy because God knows I'm tired and I got a size 44 I told you I am tired of wearing and see these are made in Turkey I wonder if my other black ones are made in Morocco because they're just they're just different they're different um I'll pop in a picture of them also on this, on the video for you guys. So, the shirt is going back because it's extremely too small. 
So pay attention to stuff like that. And like I said, as a stylist, guys, I do teach my clients to really read the labels because it does matter. Um, and then some other things that I got. This is not really meant to be a haul, but it's really about my visit line. <laughs> Some stuff that like some of my staple products that I was just running out of and I decided to pick up from Sephora's and Nordstrom. So I got my NARS concealer, my creamy concealer because I was running out. Actually, oh, I did get both. Okay. So I got Cafe Deep One. I don't know. Can you guys see that? I don't know. You know, I'm always like... I'm horrible at this. Let me see. <laughs> what happened? I'm trying, guys. It's not gonna work. Oh, there it go. Is that it? Can you guys see? Oh. <laughs> Cafe Deep One. Cafe Deep One. And Amande which I always get. So Amande is the one that, you know, one day, I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna, okay, ha ha. One day I'm gonna get it together. So Amande is what I use on top of the um, Cafe Deep. And then, this is like I said, these are just my staple that I always, always get. And then I purchased my pressed powder my finishing powder, and this is MAC, and this is Dark Deep. It's the, um, so here's the, oh, come on. Okay, Dark Deep. Now, what, I have three of these, guys. I have three of these. They're all skin finish. However, there's a Dark, a Dark Deepest, and a Dark Deep, literally. I have all three, and I realized that Dark Deep was the original one that I used to get. They look alike though, I don't even know, like, I don't know. Well, the Deep one, or is it Dark Deep? Dark Deep is the one, Dark Deepest is the one that I don't like. I don't know why they did this. So then I got this, and, and since my birthday is coming up, of course Safara wants to give me my little free gift. And I got the Tatcha, um, what is this? Dewy Skin Cream. So, you guys, I don't know if you guys can see that. The Dewy Skin Cream. And it came with two little things. Um, it actually smells really, really good. Yeah, it's not like overpowering, but I, I like simple smells. Um, it just smells fresh to me. And then they gave me the rice wash, just a small sample. Um, a little sample sample. I don't know. <laughs> I promise y'all. One day, I'm gonna get it together. But anyway, just a little uh, birthday gift from Sephora. So, that's it guys, but I really wanted to come here on here and talk about the Invisalign and my teeth being shaved. I was a little nervous, I'm not even gonna lie, but it's so quick, you don't even feel a thing, guys. So that's it. Um, I am gonna plop in the serial number of, I guess it would be a serial number, of the pants, and then the I'll put the link to the actual um, bodysuit, which, I, like I said, it runs extremely small so if you are top heavy you just want to just give it don't even do it don't do it it's so small I couldn't even get my head in like and I thought it would be as stretchy as the other material but it wasn't but that's it guys just a quick little update on my invisible line and some things that I just purchased from Zara nothing major today um again my channel is taking a turn I'm super excited for the things that I do have coming for you guys um just being intentional about stuff um but again i did want to keep you guys updated on the spark aligners because i know a lot of people don't have them they use an invisalign but i wanted to give you guys a quick update so if you like videos like this please comment below and if you stay to the end of this video please comment coco we see you 
And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at both of my pages, Coco Styles NY. That is my business page, and Coco Styles NYC is my new personal page. Um, and my website, Coco Styles NY, which is my styling services, and Coco Styles NYC, which is my blog, guys. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.